gentlemen, we continue the action here at the O2 Academy with five one and a half minute rounds of C-Class Muay Thai rules. 57 kilogram division. So let's get the action started by welcoming into the white corner. He fights out of the Kiev Fontip Jimmy Leeds. Please give a warm welcome to Ume Hussein. Facing him this evening in the black corner, fighting out of the Luke Broy gym in Southampton, please welcome Leo! <laughs> Well, so this Dan, is really we big. This, this man, is the big, first mate. thing you look at is two superb camps. So we're, we're going to be looking at two very well-schooled young men. These two are well-schooled. I tell you, I'm looking forward to this one. C-Class Muay Thai, I would have liked Pro-Am rules myself, but this show is not about me. I've got to understand that, Malcolm. <laughs> but these two guys are going to find a C-Class Muay Thai, five, one and a half minutes, and the two great gyms, like you said, Hussein and Hughes, Kiet Pontip and Look Barai, corner to corner, it is set so up. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the white corner, it's Ube Hussein. <laughs> and facing this evening in the black corner from the Look Barai gym, it's Leo <laughs> We have five one and a half minute rounds of C class Muay Thai rules. 57 kilogram division over to your referee. Yeah, this one promises because it's two young, promising athletes from two very, very good corners. Exactly. I've seen, like yourself, I've seen Liam before. I've seen it, Liam on the circuit, not so much Ubaid. First yep. time for him. Yeah, Hussein is decent stuff. And you can see that now. He takes too many steps forward when he caught that leg, but what a start. Dan, the first thing I've noticed is just how sharp the technique is from these two young men. We mentioned before in some of the previous back that some of the technique may be a bit wild or ragged. This is sharp, whatever they throw. This Beautiful is quality. knee there from the bed as well. Real quality, Dan. It's frantic, but it's quality. Exactly. It's fast-paced, but the technique is so sharp. Vicious knees there. I said it earlier. I find the K1 rules you can... Aggressive and strong, find my tire spiteful sport and in the nicest of terms. And those knees have got pure spite in them, haven't they? Ubaid is really banging in the knees. I look at this with the sharp punch. I love it the way he sets up. Those knees. I've rarely seen Liam under such pressure to get a count in the opening round. It was from the superb way those knees were set up, and it's from crisp, straight technique. And I've, I've yep. rarely seen Liam take such damage so early. This guy looks the part. Ubaid Hussein, Kiep on tip Jim. It is dominance at the moment. He is banging trouble, is Liam Hughes. And he's going to get his second count from the ref. Dan, he's taking my breath away. It's the variety, it's the straightness, it's the power, it's everything. This young man has been up and down. He's used the knees, the punches. Liam doesn't know where the next shot's coming from. He'll Two be lucky to get already. out of round one here, Malcolm. And well, he, he has. Did. Yep. Dan, that was a masterclass. They both started in the centre of the round, and I thought, wow, what a beautiful exchange. Then Ubaid took over, and it was the variety of the work, the hands sharp and high, the knees coming underneath. And when he put those knees in, the consistency, the accuracy, and as you said, Dan, I only reiterate what you say, the spite in yep. that work. Yep, a lot of times you see that sort of pace when they come out, out the traps like Greyhound, bang, but it's not usually tidy, is it? It's not usually accurate. It's just pure adrenaline. But these guys started the bout by scoring clean, clean shots, especially with the knees, I thought, of Hussein. But the Kiep Pontip fighter, clearly in the driving seat. First out for this round, though, is Hughes. That was the knee. That was the knee that really, right through the channel, right up. And again, that's great from Hughes. That, that, that's a statement of intent, and he needs that after that first round. To me, he's doing everything to say, Obeyed, you've still got a, a fight on. This is the type of fight you'd expect from John Popkiet Pontet, you know. This is, this is what he expects of his warriors. This is how he used to fight, to be honest, this pace. Well, it's superb for me so far. We're six backs in, and, and this has set the place alight, this one. His boxing's good as well, isn't it? That's the problem. It's, um, 
you look at the, the techniques, you look at, at ways to change things up. Well, he was devastating in the clinch. He's boxing straight. He's just put a teeth to the face. Push kick up to the boat race of his opponent. Pulls his head down in the clinch. He can't knee the head under C-class rules, but he's pulling his head down and controlling him. And that's the term, control. I've never seen Liam control. Referee's so going to stop this. He's, he's going to stop this. Dan. He's yeah. being controlled. There's no answer, is there? And this as you said, the accuracy of the boxing onto the arm. Another count. Chris he's is lucky giving him to get every that chance. count. Yeah, he's giving him every chance. Well said, Malcolm. The referee Chris Bachelor giving him every chance here. I'll tell you what, he won't give him another one. I'm telling you that now. If he can't answer this and can't get in this fight, the You're right. Look stop how it. close Chris is. He's, he's watching, he's looking, for, and here he goes. He's, seen he's enough. had enough. <laughs> Dan, not only was that a great call, as I said, I've watched Liam Hughes on a number of occasions, and to see him dominated like that, Ubaid Hussein, for me, bout six has come alive, it's come on fire with a young man that, to me, had everything down there. He, he yep. was lighting me up, I'm telling you. He's a very good kid, Liam Hughes, he really is, and from a good gym, like we said before, but listen, Ubaid Hussein, this kid looks the part, and he, he reminds me a little bit of jump hop, actually, in his pace, in the way he fights. It was also... The comfort at all ranges. Yeah. I mean, you watch this young man. As you said, look at his boxing. These are straight. These are not. That, if that was a straight boxing bout, you'd be talking about his punches. Then he brings the knees in. Mm. And then the control. Look, the, there you go. Stepped away. I tell you what, if he didn't come out of this pace, I'm sure it'd be a very, very horrible drive back to Leeds with John Pop in the seat next to him. <laughs> and I think that fear alone has made him come out the traps like this and box how he has today. It was total dominance, wasn't it, Malcolm? I'll tell you what, Dan, I, I can only sum it up by saying I want to see this kid as soon as possible again. That, yeah. that for me, he, 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 it set off a light bulb in my head. I was like, wow, you, you're trying to look for force, you're trying to look for force. He threw a teep straight to the face. You saw that combination, he threw a round kick. He's throwing knees so accurately. The boxing straight. Liam is no one's mug. I've not seen him owned like that. No. This, this guy's special, actually. It, it, listen, watch out. Watch out for this kid, Ubaid Hussain. I'm telling you now, watch out for this kid. 57-kilogram fighter. And uh, listen, there's some good names around the country for him. But this kid looks like he could get up there. Chris Batchador calls a stop to this contest. One minute and 17 seconds into round number two. Let's hear it for your winner in the white corner, Ube Hussein.